Okay, good afternoon from St. Thomas Church. Now you're probably wondering if you've read any of my articles on St. Thomas or watch any of my blogs, what I'm actually doing here in the afternoon for sunset when I specifically say that this is a sunrise location. Well, it is a sunrise location. And the reason is that when the sun sets over there, you lose the light on the hill. Whereas in the morning, the sun rises over this direction and it lights the hill as well. Um, but the reason I'm here today is because of a special event. The, uh, the moon is going to rise over those mountains behind the church. And of course, it's going to rise at sunrise. Uh, sorry. Of course, it's going to rise at sunset, not at sunrise. So I don't have much choice, actually. So that's why I'm here now. Now, it's a full moon and it's going to rise any moment soon. And I'm not sure it's going to rise somewhere off to the right of the mountains. So I've, uh, I've plotted it on TPE and got a rough estimate of where it's going to rise. And now I just need to wait and watch and, of course, be ready to move if need be. Now it's, um, it's clear, which is good, of course, we'll be able to see it, but it's a lot, it's a bit hazier than I'd hoped. So for that reason I've got a polarizer on, now the polarizer helps to cut out the haze a bit, and maybe also uh, in Photoshop I can use the dehaze tool to bring some more of it out. But hopefully it's going to be a great event. The sun should peak up over those mountains just after sunset. So maybe there'll still be a bit of colour on the mountains, maybe not, we'll see. Now it's a bit breezy at the moment. It's not too bad. These trees are sheltering it. There seems to be a bit of wind coming from the back. But when you're using a telephoto lens, it can be quite sensitive to the wind, and especially when you're doing long exposures. So uh, for that reason, I brought an umbrella. It's not going to rain, of course, but uh, I find that the umbrella is actually quite useful as a bit of a windbreak. So a handy little tip for you. Yeah, wherever the wind is coming from, you can use the umbrella as a bit of a windbreak to help reduce any potential vibration in your image. Now, just have to wait. And here it comes, as you can see, coming up over that mountain peak. Beautiful. When you're blowing up from the back, so and here's my windbreak. The haze is diffusing. The haze is diffusing the moon a bit, so it's really nice. And there's some nice colour, just as I... Just as I anticipated, it's rising just around sunset. So there's some nice color in the sky as well. And the haze is actually diffusing the moon. Beautiful. Mm. 
because it's quite hazy, the sky is not so bright, so the balance of light between the sky and the foreground is not so great, so I don't need to use any uh, ND grad filters, which is good. Because I needed to put a polarizer on. Unfortunately, I don't have the kind of polarizer that fits with the uh, ND grad system. Beautiful. It's right up over the mountain now. Lovely, uh, there's uh, snow on those mountain peaks. So that's adding a bit of extra color to the scene. Now I'm using, um, because the moon is quite far from the church, I'm, I've actually done a 16 by nine letterbox crop. And you can do this, you can crop this in post-processing or if your camera has a facility like mine does, you can actually change the aspect ratio and do the crop while shooting. Beautiful. I'm now gonna go down a bit, see if I can get some different angles. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, the moon rising over the mountains behind St. Thomas Church in Slovenia. So well worth coming for the sunset period. Now, uh, sorry, I, I, I couldn't film the bit where I run down the hill there earlier, but I, I ran further down because as the moon started to rise, you saw it, obviously it started to move off to the right. So the separation between the moon and the church itself started to increase. So one way to do that was to change my perspective. So I ran further down that way so I could then bring the two that bit closer together and uh, still managed to capture some more of this great scene. So it was a great moment. There was a lot of haze over the mountains, but it actually served well because it, uh, it it actually diffused the intensity of the moon as it rose over the mountains and that helped to keep the balance between the sky and the foreground and that the moon wasn't too bright and in which case then um, uh, the moon itself wasn't burned out. As it rose a bit higher uh, it did start to get a bit bright so I had to exposure bracket so I took uh, exposure of plus or minus one stop, which I will likely uh, blend a little bit, but it wasn't so much of a difference uh, as it was. Um, if you watched my um, video on Yamnik, you will see that uh, the moon rose actually quite about half an hour after sunset, and in which case then the sky was already quite dark. And I had to do a lot of exposure blending there to bring the detail of the moon back. But in this case, I won't have to. And when the moon first came over the mountain, um, it was the, the, the light from the moon was not so strong. So I managed to get it all in one shot, as you're going to see. And it was really great, of course, because, the, um, there was, because it was around sunset, there was still some nice color from the sunset in the sky. And... Um, the mountain peaks, there's snow on the mountain peaks, so that really shows through. As I said, I put a polarizer on to uh, cut out some of the haze there to help bring out the detail on those mountain tops in particular. So everything worked out really well. Okay, so this happens uh, once or twice. Well, actually, I think uh, once a year it's actually at its closest point. Um, it would have been nice if it had been closer to the church. But you can't have everything, can you? Okay, so this happens at the moment. This is uh, early January. 
So every year around about this time it's going to happen. Okay, I'll put more details up in an article sometime soon, which I'll put a link to in the description here. And I'll put a link to my article uh, and my vlog about the, the moon also rising over Yamnik, because at this moment now, uh, if I was over a uh, Yamnik church, this I would have seen this rising behind uh, Storjic. I kind of had to make a choice really, I couldn't be in both places. And as I got Yamnik last year, I decided to do this one this year. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description to that article and also a link up here to the vlog I did on that last year. And um, that's about it really. So it's cold. I'm going to go home and have a nice warm cup of tea. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this and please give a like if you did enjoy this and if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you later.